Hi, I'm Scott Jordan. I'm here to tell you about my Polaris Slingshot. Uh, and basically, this is for the purposes of eBay, uh, giving all the information I can to see whether you um, have any questions, let me know whatever I might not cover. So basically, I bought this um, at, at the end of a 2000, it's a 2015, uh, it was a base model, but I had it highly modified as I'm gonna basically describe for you and I'm, then I'm gonna take you for a ride. Um, note that all of the logos, the Pocket Man, all the, the, the logos can be easily removed. So when you see them, um, the ones that can't be easily removed are, are the ones on the seats here, uh, which the seats are awesome and uh, a very great add-on and benefit. I've traveled around the country and you can um, either have me in frame or the, the vehicle. Uh, around the country uh, with this vehicle have uh, gotten tons of attention, even more so because of the Pocket Man logos. If you are interested in leaving the Pocket Man logos on, I will actually come up with some method to pay you for verified miles. But I primarily want to give you high resolution images, just walk around the vehicle and you can see um, you know, the condition. Note the uh, we did do a wrap on the vehicle, a carbon fiber wrap. You can see it right here. And together with Matt, uh, Matt Gray, it, it needs to be uh, cleaned up a little bit. I should have done that before the video. But this looks great. Lots of comments. It looks highly customized. Uh, did do some uh, little logos on the wheels and stuff. I, I have to say, you know, the car has been driven. So it is not in utterly perfect condition. I'll focus in on a couple of areas of concern. You know, when you look here, you know, you can see, you know, the you know, the air dam has been affected. Um, you know, we do have, you know, halo rings on the headlights. Um, I do have both sets of wheels and I actually have snow tires. Believe it or not, this thing is a blast to drive in the snow. So I have snow tires together with the street tires that go along with it. Um, this rear tire is, is practically brand new. Uh, the car has 15,000 miles on it. Uh, and this tire probably has, uh, you know, 2,000 miles on it. And you can see by the tread, it's in great, great shape. I've absolutely loved the vehicle. It's been great for me. I put this on, I can put a, a couple soft bags here. I have it outfitted for a bunch of GoPros um, here. I've got a, 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 a tablet case. I have carbon fiber steering wheel. I have heated seats on both sides, a definite must. I have the higher windshield, the wind flaps, which are uh, critical for long distance driving. I've got upgraded speakers. I also have a, an auxiliary battery and an auxiliary amp built in here. And I, I have to be candid, I'm not quite sure how the battery and uh, you know works. It was intended to power a stereo system, you know, uh, kind of uh, that I will explain in more detail. It never really operated the intended way, but um, I'm sure it wouldn't take a lot of effort to put it together so that when people approach the vehicle with a, a Viper motion sensor, it would actually play a Pocket Man song uh, for people. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, the engine, let me show you. Um, oh, also I have a GoPro, you know, custom thing here. So you can put this on and attach a GoPro camera. You know, so there's one GoPro here, one GoPro there, another GoPro here. And again, all the logos are easily removable. Um, let me uh, open the hood for you. The hood is always kind of a, a pain to open. Do it. Just so it's, I may have to, sometimes I have to follow the, the instructions and now I'm, I'm concerned I'm gonna, not be able to open the hood. Sometimes when it's not level, it's hard to open. So I'm gonna do that separately if I can. I'm gonna take you for a ride as well. Should have 
had this teed up and prepared. So rather than spending a lot of time jerking around with this, I'm gonna do that separately because I do have a, a muffler, an aftermarket muffler uh, and cold air intake that um, makes it sound a zillion times better. The original version sounded like a, an angry typewriter. And this one now sounds like a throaty, um, exciting machine. So let me turn it over and then we're gonna go for a ride together. It's just uh, around, I'll show you what it, what it sounds like. If I'd stand out there for a second, I'll tell you when to get in. We have just a couple seconds left. Give me one grave concern about Donald Trump. It sounds much better if you listen to a normal one. It doesn't sound nearly this good. You can also tell we've done the detail of the carbon fiber here. Lots of USB outlets here. Here's a little, the, the extra amp uh, that I added here. Um, USB outlets pretty much everywhere. And also there's an inverter here, which I really never have used. Um, and uh, let me go around, listen to, get to the back. So the higher windshield is a must for long trips. Um, I also have the lower windshield and I also have the, the stock seats and the stock tires and the snow tires. Um, as well, but this car is the most fun I've ever had in any vehicle. I will do a separate video where I open the hood for you. Um, the steering wheel is a lot nicer than the uh, stock wheel as well. It does stay centered.
Oh, there's lots of mountain roads. Really beautiful. on eBay of all the options from the cold air intake, the seats, the steering wheel. just like a car. I mean, it really does. With the exception of, since the, the, the rear wheel is in the center, if there's any rain or debris or wetness on the road, you know, it all collects in the center of the road, so you're gonna to wanna to be hyper careful when you're, um, when you're driving in the rain. Ha <laughs> ha. 